Good day, this is Michael with Iconesis, and today we'll be doing an overview of the Iconesis 360 View Creator software. Uh, basically what we've done is shot a set of uh, images over a 360 rotation for a total of 36 frames using our USB turntable with the included Shutterstream 360 software and uh, edited and output these files to a local folder. Now we're simply going to go ahead and drag and drop these into the 360 view creator application. Uh, that's importing the images currently as you can see the progress bar going from left to right and what that's going to do is create us a preview of the 360 uh, image that it's created. Uh, first and foremost let's discuss a few things in here um, that we're seeing on the main UI. Uh, first and foremost would be the duration of one full turn. Um, if it's spinning too fast or too slow, we can go ahead and actually change the speed at which it rotates by uh, entering a different number. You can even click custom and put in your own spin duration there. That is going to be the duration of one full turn. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is you can also choose to include master images for zoom. Uh, for instance, if you want to have a button, a player button that is uh, zoom in, zoom out which we can click our advanced button and say show zoom button. Let's hit return and reload our preview. Um, what we can do is basically control the, uh, the overall zoom level there. So if I go ahead and back and look at my original images, uh, let's take a look at one of these. We're gonna see that they're at 1200 by 1200 pixels. Let me show the details, 1200 by 1200 pixels. So um, essentially you can choose your output size. Um, that's gonna be the actual main display size at which it outputs. Uh, that'll be 600 pixels wide. If I'm going to include my master images for zoom, I know that I want to show my zoom level at uh, 2.0. So when I click this plus button, that's going to zoom in at, uh, at 2%. Uh, let's go back and we'll return back to the main UI here. Um, you also do have full control over the um, the different buttons that you want to use. We have multiple different options in here. There's about uh, 12 in total. Uh, for instance, maybe we want blue buttons. We can hit reload preview after we make that change and that's going to automatically adjust the buttons and reload our preview. As you can see, our new buttons here. Uh, okay, so our next step will be in our advanced settings. Um, you do have multiple different options here. Again, um, under the UI options, you can uh, basically define which buttons you do want to show. Um, you can also install a new theme and basically a new theme would be your own custom set of buttons um, that uh, maybe match the look and feel of your website if, uh, if none of the default options inside of the application um, if none of them already did match the, the look and feel of your site. Um, we also have control. Um, as you can see we can move left and right um, if you did want to reverse your pointer drag direction, you can do so by simply clicking that button. Again, you can choose your maximum zoom level. Uh, horizontal drag speed um, would be how fast, basically how much it's going to move as you move the mouse left and right. And vertical drag speed would be if you are shooting a multi-row 3D product view, um, it would be up and down control. Um, you also have the option for a mouse wheel zoom in and out. And the last set of options would be the rotation. Um, I'm going to choose to rotate on start and rotate just once. I will hit reload preview and you're going to see right after it loads it's going to automatically start spinning in 360 and then it's going to stop after it completes one full 360 turn. And again that's what I've just denoted by clicking these two check options. Um, you can also start rotation in reverse direction. Uh, maybe you'd shot your images in a counterclockwise uh, rotation. Um, in that case, you'd want to start your rotation in a reverse direction. And the last thing would be a bounce rotation. Essentially, that's used for a 180 degree view um, in which basically it would just bounce back and forth, kind of like what I'm controlling with my mouse right here. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the features and functionality inside of the application. Um, one more thing I didn't mention um, was, again, if you did shoot a 3D multi-row um, output, uh, you could go ahead and choose the number of vertical rows that you've shot at. Um, simply from here, you're going to choose your output name. 
So we'll call it sample 360 view, choose your save to location, I'll just use my desktop, and your output settings will be HTML only, that is a local HTML5 folder in which you can upload to your own servers and host on your own servers, then um, integrate into your website. Um, the second option will be HTML, which again will create that local file as well as an uploadable archive. Um, that uploadable archive, we will be launching our um, 360 image hosting service soon. Essentially that archive, you will be able to uh, drag and drop into our online hosting service. And the last option would be to upload to our 360 server directly. Um, again, that will go directly to the server in which you will be provided an iframe or a index.html file link and you can simply integrate that in your website. Um, all, the output op all the outputs are in HTML5. Again, user interactive, click and drag mouse control and very much customizable. Um, simply from here I'll hit save and then uh, we'll have our output. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you.